Hello and welcome back. You're here with Brothers Forge Gaming and we're tackling some more Demon Souls today. Now, if you were watching us this whole time, we really appreciate your views, tune in and all that. If you're tuning in for the first time, this is the first level essentially of the game besides the tutorial level. In the very beginning, they really troll you. They throw a door that you can't go in until basically the end of the game. Now, your soul level has to be white. And I'll show you that when we get there, and the door will be open in front of us. Here we go. Let's check it out. It's kind of the secret area. There's some red spirits in there. It's a pretty nasty place. There's a well that you fall down into to get some gear. So we're going to take a look at all that. Let's go check it out right here, right now. Um, it's kind of like an end game area. I'm wondering if there's some keys I've been missing in there and all that. So let's, see, let's go see if we can handle this business. I wonder if there's a, yeah, there's a couple sneaky guys. No big deal. No big deal. Couple sneaky sneaksters right out there in the beginning. All right, and then so you know you're familiar with this level if you've played the game. There's somebody chasing me. Oh, there's one more. And what a glorious sight! If you have not played the remaster, the remake, completely rebuilt from the ground up of Demon Souls on the PlayStation 5, you are in for a treat. Now, like I've said before, it's a little, it's a lot a bit different. It's basically a different game than the original Demon Souls, but it is incredible. Just look at all that detail. My goodness, incredible. So now, as you can see here, the gate is open. And there's a couple spots like this in the game. I don't know them all. This is actually the only one I know. But as you can see here, my soul tendency is white here, so I can go into the secret areas in all three of these places. Uh, like I said, this is the only secret area I know of in the game. Um, there's a couple spots where I've seen some markers on the ground that say, if your soul level tendency is white, dot, dot, dot. You know, I never knew what that meant. I couldn't tell if it was a troll or what the deal was with it, but... Uh, you know, that's where it's at. So here we go, into the secret area. If I remember this correctly, there, like I said, there's a newt somewhere in here, but he leads you to your death. I believe there's a couple red spirits in here that really want to hammer you. So let's take a look at that and see what's going on. I don't think you can fall in here any other way. Uh, even if you were to try, it would probably auto-kill you. Um, if there's anything in those corners, I don't know. Again, I believe you can fall off to your death down here as well. Oh, here he comes. Okay. So, oh, it's a red spirit of one of these undead guys. That's kind of cool. Huh. Interesting. So, again, I don't know if this is like a PvP area. If, oh, there's the lizard. Okay, I don't know if this is a PvP area if you uh, come in here. Oh, there we go. See? You get trolled. But once you kill him, like, you should be able to get the lizard. He's going to go bail off that cliff, but so you could come back here. I don't know if those get summoned every time. Like I said, it's been a super long time since I've been down here. I thought there was some endgame enemies, and maybe those aren't them. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a pitfall death, so don't go down running down there. Maybe it's not. I don't know. There's some good spots in this game, though, that uh, be worth looking at. I, I don't know all the secrets. This would be one that would be great to have a Brady guide for, or, or somebody, you know, somebody really out there, really into this game that has the time and wants to go through every nook and cranny of this game and... and Tell us all the most secret areas in the world. I know the original game, Kingsfield, had a lot of spots where you could do some crazy stuff and find some really epic gear. Uh, one of my claims to fame was finding the ultimate sword in, in uh, Kingsfield. I'm not going to give away that secret just yet, but it may be well known by this point. But anyway, back to it. Like I said, guys, if you've been tuning in this whole time, checking us out, we appreciate it. We like the comments, the likes, the views, the subscriptions are always nice. It helps us keep on keeping on and doing what we do. Look at those gallows right there. I always thought that, that some, uh, maybe that was a different one where that, like someone comes crashing through that side of the gate. It was pretty cool. Uh, maybe that was Demon Souls 3 or one of the other ones. Dark Souls, sorry. Why'd they change the name? I'll never know. Ooh. Go up there. Oh man, more guillotines? Can't get up there. That's like one of those crates from the other level. Ooh, a blue eye knight helmet. So I should have found all those pieces of gear now for that set. Uh, you get them on drops on killing the knights. And the same thing for the officers. Those big, uh, big dudes, big jolly dudes that shoot flame at you that are throughout the game. Okay, so here we go. Three spirits. And again, this would probably be a little bit more difficult. I am really juiced up. I've completed the game essentially at this point. Now I'm just going to be going back through some of the areas. Uh, there's a spot in the second level uh, when you're in the in the caves, in the mines, and uh, there's a bunch of those firebugs. I need to go back there and check that out still. And I also still need to go try to defeat the dragon god. 
which last time I went there I got destroyed, so I'm hoping I'm strong enough to go there now. Alright, Renowned Warrior Soul. So let's hope we have what it takes to get into where we're going. Okay, so this is going inside somewhere maybe? Yeah, okay. Did I get everything over here? Let's find out. Okay, so yeah, just some more fun view. And then, you know, what's your guys' favorite Souls game? I definitely enjoy Demon Souls. Dark Souls is probably, like, the best game to play overall, but the original version of this uh, is such a great game. Now, this remaster is excellent, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely not the original in a lot of ways. And so... Oh. Sneaky. Whoa. Really? Executioner's out. Shall show you no mercy. Really? Oh, really? I don't know who this chick is in terms of the game, the storyline, or anything, but she's pretty cool. I'm trying to get a backstab in there, but it's not, or maybe you can't backstab her. <laughs> really? Huh, I wonder what it is. Probably that axe. Oh, dang! A whole set of stuff. Whew, I'll we'll have to check that out. Nice! Wow, that's a cool shot right there. Got a ring of sorts. Don't know what all that was. And again, I believe there's another spot you can go down in here. Yeah, let, let us know. What are your favorite? What's your favorite Souls game? You know what I should do, just in case. I need to equip. Did I get that ring at least, at the very least? No, I think it just sent the whole thing there. Yep. I should have the one that helps you fall. The cat ring. There we go. I don't want to do that. Okay, so anyhow, what's what's your favorite game? This is my favorite of all, and, and like I said, it's a little bit different on this remake, the Poison Resistance Ring. So there's some duplicate rings. I don't know if those count towards the trophy if you have to get each of all the duplicate rings as well, plus all the game, uh, new rings from New Game Plus. That I don't know, so... But see, this will be a series of trying to fall down here and, and doing the path. And, and aside from that, I think there's just some gear down here. Some really good gear, be it, but nothing probably like super necessary. So it's just trying to fall on these rafters the right way. And, you know, giving yourself a headache trying to do it and falling to your ultimate death. So one of these things you don't want to do is mess around with this when you got a bunch of souls. Let's go check it out down here. You came to see the show. Let's Let's go see what's down here. All the way down. Here's some rats. Wow, it's all the dead bodies. So we got the full brushwood set. Oh, that's cool. I think that that's a guy you find him in the prison. And uh, he's sitting in the Nexus right now. Alright, so now that we've gone down there and found the brushwood armor set, fallen to our death, gotten our souls again, we're going to try to fall down here and get this last item. Let's see which way to do that. Again, you're going to not be able to really come here until end game anyway, and I, so this gear must be better for new game plus. So maybe you have to come over here a little bit and go where it breaks. And then walk over. That could be it. Again, if you're afraid of heights, this game is pretty brutal when it comes to that. I don't think there's any other way, so... Oh, okay, that makes sense. The break right here, so... It kind of shows you fall in the break and then walk over. 
Got my nice cat ring on, and just take it nice and easy. Nice and easy. See, I should have used... I told my... Ooh, colorless demon soul. Okay. So you need those to power up the moonlight sword and other various weapons like the tower shield and things. So basically you're only going to get one of those a run, which sucks. So see, what I should have done is brought my portal spell. I told myself I was going to, and then I didn't. So we'll see what happens. I'm getting a little wild. And now I'm done. So we'll see where it puts my souls. But yeah, that's going to do it for the secret area. Gates of Boltaria. All that gear, colorless demon soul. Very cool. What a great game. If you guys haven't had a chance to play it, you need to play it. Make sure to check out our full playthrough here on Brothers Forge Gaming.